Hi guys, I've been promising for quite a while that I'm going to take this little helicopter apart that I bought for £4.99, brand new, in the 99p store. There you go, RC helicopter, £4.99. I also bought some AA batteries at the same time, pack of 10 I think it was, 99p. So I paid a whole £5.98 because this one takes, I can't remember whether it's four or six batteries in one go, and then that charges up that. So the idea is I'm going to take it apart and use it to power um, a twin-engined biplane. Not this one, but it will be something very similar, similar sort of size, but with twin engines. And because this is controlled by variable thrust, it's got two motors in it, then that should be ideal for a twin engine model aeroplane. Full thrust will make it climb, medium thrust will mean it um, just flies level, and by varying one motor against the other, you'll be able to turn it left and right. Or well, that's the theory. There's lots of uh, videos of indoor planes using that sort of control system. Anyway, I'll take this apart. I'm not actually going to build the biplane in this video, but I will take it apart so we can have a look inside. Might do a bit of close-up so we can get a closer look at it. Right, I haven't taken one of these apart before, so I don't know what I'm doing. And it looks to me like most of it just clips together. So we'll find out as we go along. That bit looks like that unhooks. That was simple enough. So that's the front off. So we've got a LiPo battery, which is what we expected. Got a little bit of double-sided tape holding it in place. And then we got the let's turn it over. We've got the gearbox assembly. And there's two motors at the back. Looks to me like we can unscrew these and get a bit more apart. I'm guessing this bit clips off as well. Closer. That's come off in my hand. Oh, that was just hot glued in there. I do hope my camera's focusing. I usually get to the end of something like this, play it back, and find it's all out of focus. what's holding it together. Not a lot. So, as I say, I do hope the camera's focusing. That's the bit that I'm really interested in. The very small receiver, lightweight. Can't 
quite see how it's held in place. Looks like it's just held in place by the LED being hot glued in place. Yep, yeah, that looks like that's it. Okay, so we don't need that bit anymore. Looks like that unhooks. Yep. That's interesting. I thought that was metal, but that now feels like plastic. Yes, that's definitely plastic. So how do we get the motors out? I reckon they're just a push fit in there. find a smaller screwdriver. Again, I hope this is focusing. Let's see if we can get rid of that bit. I must say I am surprised. I thought this was metal, but it's not. It's just plastic. appear to want to come out. That's better. Guessing these. Oh, I was just going to try and talk through the way it works. So say we've got two motors, each one driving a different set of rotors. So the bottom one's driving the top rotors, and the second one is driving the bottom rotors. The helicopter would naturally try and spin round if there was only one pair of rotors, but by having two pairs contra-rotating that should balance the torque so the helicopter doesn't spin round. You have it slightly nose heavy so it tilts forwards and that means it goes forwards all the time, but by varying the, rate, the no, ratio between the two rotors you can get it to either turn left or right. So it's continuously going forwards but you can turn it left, turn it right and that gives you your control. Let's just see if we can pop these out. That feels like that's pretty stiff in there don't really want to break them. But all that I really want is the receiver. The motors I think are going to be too small for what I want to do. Not so much because they're small motors, but because I think the shafts are going to be too short. Too short, too thin for the propellers that I've got. My propeller is a one millimeter center, and that looks like less than one millimeter. I'm going to get some other tools. All right, let's just see. It doesn't want to move. Oh, yes, it is. There we go. That's good. So that's one gear wheel, which means, is that going to slide right out? Yep, there we go. And then the other one. Yes, 
gas that's coming off now. So there we go, that's our two rotors and the associated gears and then here's our two little motors which, oh yes, they just pop out. Look at that. So that's a plastic fairly complicated plastic assembly there to hold it all together which I don't need that's two nice little let's see what size they are because people ask this is not a particularly accurate measure but it looks like they're five millimetres in diameter. They're certainly not six millimetres in diameter. And they're, is that 13 millimetres long? But as I say, that, the actual, um, <laughs> I've forgotten what it's called now. That's less than one millimetre. So I don't think any of my propellers will fit on there. But on the face of it, that's our two propellers, uh, two motors for twin engine. And that's our receiver. Still need to point the actual, that's your photoelectric cell. That needs to be pointing down so we can actually use the transmitter. So if we switch the transmitter on, oh, also need to switch the receiver on. There we go. can't really demonstrate here the difference in the speeds of the motors because the up and down on the helicopter is increasing the speed on both motors and then the left and right will be varying the speeds between them but there's not a lot I can do to show that But there we are. That's the bit that goes in the aeroplane. As I say, I may need to change those motors because I don't think I've got propellers that will fit. I will find out. Now if I can just assemble that together for a nice little final shot. There we go. One disassembled RC helicopter.